Welcome, so this video is about some low-tech ways of growing mushrooms um, for the fruiting part. So once you have some blocks, if you've either made them or purchased them, you basically need a humid area with a lot of fresh air exchanges. So you want to have air from outside uh, coming in and then exhausting air outside. So what I did here was I just have a swamp cooler. This is in my garage. I have a swamp cooler, which is supposed to be window mounted, but I have it inside my garage door with the garage door just cracked about a foot tall. And that swamp cooler is just circulating air inside the garage. Right now the humidity is about 75%, 80% humidity. And that's about what you want. From there, you're gonna wanna mist the mushrooms. So either a little hand one or a pump one or a hose with a, a mist nozzle on it. And especially the first couple days when the pins are just forming, such as these, when the, the mushrooms are forming out, you wanna mist them. When they're close to harvest, stop misting them because you wanna have it to where they dry out a little bit. You don't wanna have soaking wet mushrooms that you're harvesting. Um, so yeah, this setup was just really quick. I, I had some blocks that I made with the dry bagger and I sterilized them and inoculated them and tried out my new flow hood setup that I have and the new sealer setup that I have and I needed to fruit them. So I just set them up on this rack in my garage with the swamp cooler. Other ideas, oh, and I should point out that the first couple days I put some poly around it, some plastic sheathing. And what that does is when I missed it, it makes it to where it's more of like a humidity dome. Once the pins started to form, I pulled it off. And what that does is it lets the pins form on this high humidity. It also boosts up the CO2, which is, you don't want that later on, but that's fine for pin set. Um, and then when, when they're further along, when it, the mushrooms start to, to form the pins, like say, say like that, is when you're gonna want to take them out of the, the tent, take the tent off, and then they come into full grown mushrooms. So these are 12 and a half pound blocks. On the blocks that I harvested this morning, I got like two and a half pounds per block almost. And this one looks like it's probably a three pounder right there. So not bad. Um, yeah, so hopefully you like this video to show you a low tech way of fruiting. I know not everybody has a swamp cooler, but for those that are in the desert, if you do have a swamp cooler in your house, just try doing it out in the open or in your garage or in a shed or something. One thing I must warn with doing it like this, if you're gonna do it on more of a commercial scale, um, it's gonna cover your entire garage with spores over time. So this is not an optimal setup for ongoing, but if you just wanna do a one-time grow like this, I'm probably growing you know, a good 50 pounds, 40 pounds maybe, one time, then that's it, uh, it's fine. Yes, you're gonna get spores everywhere, but it's not the end of the world. If you're ongoing, it's gonna cause issues with your respiratory system and just with making the area really dirty. So yeah, hope you like this. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my Patreon if you want some feedback, if you want me to answer questions. I don't uh, answer questions on YouTube anymore. So either Vimeo, uh, subscribe to my Vimeo, or become a patron on patreon.com. So, and also check out my kit listings for equipment and cultivation supplies. Uh, I'll put the link below as well. Thank you and keep on mushrooming. Take it easy.